you able to see the screen? Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Hello? All right. So last class we have completed to set up the failure to set up the failure, right? In load in in a clustering. So today we will able to see how to set up the load balancing actually. For setting up the load balancing. Right. So set up the load balancing. Today we need to finish the remaining clustering uh, clustering part. So to setting up the load balancing, what we what we can able to see. So generally what we can able to see, we, can, we need to be download uh, Apache web server. So in place of Apache web server, we can able to use OHS and otherwise, you know, Oracle HTTP server, RI Planet or Sunman Java server, Sunman, Sunman web server, any one we can able to use, but we are able to see here how to installing the Apache and integrating with the Apache server for handling the load balance. So first we can able to see how to download the Apache web server. Then, you know, so go to this first set up the right so what we can able to do first step download the apache to your local machine right from where www dot apache dot org apache dot no double dot apache dot org to your local machine then version should be http d iphone 2.2.17 iphone 17 see 2.x actually 2.12 2.2.12 2.2.19 so that is what current version 2.x actually version you can download to your local version see local machine so then after that what i can able to do next extract go to that go to that download path and extract it go to the Extractor directory and next issue the following command dot slash configure iPhone prefix. What is the prefix actually? Prefix is nothing but Apache form where you want to install the Apache. Then fifth step make fix make install. So these are the steps we need to be do. Make make install. So then after that what I need to do, I need to be verify. So verify the installation. Right. This is this installation was completed after verifying that next how to integrate with weblogic server after installing that how to integrate with the weblogic server step 1 download the proxy plugin so generally what is the proxy plugin proxy plugin is nothing but generally you know so it contains the load balancing logic so generally uh, to redirect the request to the backend server generally right that is about the proxy plugin which contains the load balancing logic to, re to redirecting those requests to the application server that is about the proxy plugin so i'm just showing all i, I already 
no take all those steps and you can able to install so let's we see then after that go to here then download the proxy plugin to your local machine next step extract it go to the linux and copy the mod underscore wl underscore double two dot so this is what proxy plugin into the modules directory modules directory right so modules directory you can you can then next what you can able to do you just go to the following directory go to the following directory uh, it's nothing but apache home apache home slash config sorry so conf directory under that you know you may have that following that open that httpd dot conf directory you can integrate so under this you can integrate by using this code you can provide in the sense all the clusters you can, you can be specify here and click on 7 or save and then after that what I need to do I need to be stop the Apache restart it it does not have any problem and it has going to be restarts then after that you know deploy the applications and test it so this is about the complete process let me see one by one let's go to there so i already downloaded it it's available on my desktop i'm just copying into that you know Slash home slash Linux desktop. I'm just copying Apache home Apache to my local home home HCL home. Go to that path. So I need to give the permissions for extracting. I need to be extract add space hyphen xvf space tar file name it is going to be extracting so extracted successfully i'm just going to the extracted directory right under this directory i need to give the following command dot slash configure hyphen prefix so prefix is nothing but where you want to install the Apache. that part you have to be provided apache installation home Wherever you want to, you can able to install, but I am installing under that path, Apache phone. Just enter. So it is going to be checking all the files. Right. So once it's completed, the next what I need to do next step make it has going to be compiling in this step. Actual installation it will be it will be doing last step.
that which completes last step make install Right, it's completely complete installation about the Apache. Go to that Apache home. See under this path, complete Apache which is going to be installed. Let's see, discuss about that Apache home directory, Apache installation directory. So bin directory generally which contains the Apache, you know, start and stop scripts and config directory generally which contains the main configuration file called httpt.com and error directory generally which contains the Installation errors and coming to the lib directory generally which contains the libraries regarding for the Apache and logs directory generally which contains the two logs example you know access dot log error dot log about the Apache and manual generally which contains the manual page about the Apache in the form of HTML and modules directory in this directory we need to be copy the proxy plugins right for integrating with the WebLogic server the part we'll able to see the later this is about the Apache from directory structure go to the conf and here what I need to do, you know, this is the main configuration file. So VH page http.conf directory. Press I. You have to be edited first. Listen host. Local host colon, you know, 8080. You have to be edit. Press escape, save and exit. And go to the Apache home bin. And first interview question, how to know the Apache version? So this is what just now I installed right August 31st 2015. So this is what how you can able to come to know the Apache version. So next what I need to do how to start Apache CTL. You can able to start, stop, restart everything here only. Start it start and just started. So let's we see whether it is started or not. Space space F E F. Grip interview question how to know the Apache is started or not. Grip space HTTPD. See which is started successfully. Start, start. Understood clearly. So in this way, you can able to install and then you can verify the Apache installation. Very, very important question. What is the command to know the Apache is running or not? So this is the command. So after that, what I need to do, I need to be integrating with the WebLogic server actually. To integrating with the WebLogic server, what I need to do actually download the proxy plugins to my local machine. I need to be extract it. So this mod underscore WL underscore double two dot so it's nothing but shared objects. This proxy plugin, I need to be copy into the, uh, you know, modules directory of Apache. Then after that, go to the Apache home and, you know, and conf directory. And under that, we need to be edit like following this. Following the code, you can able to add and stop the Apache and restart the Apache. And once the Apache is coming into the start, then you can deploy the applications. That's what, how you are going to be integrating. You just go to over there. I already downloaded those proxy plugins. So this is what you can download from the Oracle, this ball proxy plugins. I just copied. So this proxy plugins also I need to remove slash home slash Linux to my home actually. Slash home slash Linux Oracle. Right. Which is I mode. Right. So here which you have what I need to see unzip space WLS. See it's just going to be extracting according to the operating system Linux and then after that Solaris, then after that Windows. So for us actually Linux i6086 will go to over there. In that we need to be copy this one. Go to that one. It is space Linux, it is space I. 686 and pwd ls under this part cp mod underscore wl underscore double two dot is show apply next oracle hcl home so hcl home oracle hcl home apache home modules directory under this path you have to be copy so what i need to do next go to that path and check it whether it is copy or not See which is copied. Next, go to the following path. Before you are going to that, 
you need to be add the following code actually in that so you need to be write the following code because whenever the request is coming it needs to be you know redirecting to the cluster right if it is failed or if it is busy go to over there config directory so we is http under this path go to there php.http.conf directory press i go to here under this path you have to copy load module web logic module modules mod underscore wl underscore double two dot s one under the modules directory copy and web logic cluster local host 8010 I need to enter my managed servers here. Whatever I have in my cluster, 8010 and 8020 and 8030. How many servers I have in my cluster? All servers I need to be specifying that. Then after that, match expression dot star. So what it will do? How many requests which are coming from the client? All the requests which are going to be redirect until finishing those request and close the if if module. So once you have this code, let's just save, save and exit. Go to the Apache form bin and you need to be stop the Apache. See, I stopped the Apache. You can able to check. There is no Apache running. Then after that, I need to be start. If there is no any integration problems, it has going to be start the Apache. If you have the any integration problem, it won't start. It throws the exception. You have to be working on those exceptions. So now we don't have any exceptions. I need to be check whether it is running or not. See, so we started running. In a sense, installation and integration of the WebLogic server successfully we have completed. So, how to verify next? Go to the following path. I need to be start the servers. Right. So what I need to do here, I need to be start the server instances. So dot slash start manage view. Otherwise you'll use the scripts also, okay? Manage web logic dot sh hmng1 local host colon eight zero ten. Let's just escape Amberson. So I'm just running. This time what will happen? It has going to start the cluster. What will happen? Okay, sorry. I need to be give here 8001 admin server port number. It has going to be starts including the cluster this time. This time it has going to start the cluster automatically whenever you start the cluster server automatically it has going to start the cluster also see so listening for announcement for the cluster using the uniclast messaging see now you see it has going to be waiting to synchronize with other running members of the Dev cluster. 
So it is going to be starting the cluster and as well as through the cluster it is going to start the server instance. So which comes into the running mode. In a sense, one server is running through the server. Similarly like that, we can run the other server also. It will take some time to coming into the running mode because it, it needs to be start cluster service and as well as the server. See, this is also starting using the cluster. Right, this comes into the running mode. Go to here, so click on the cluster, click on the dev cluster, click on the monitoring. See, two servers are running in the cluster. So next what I need to do, click on the configuration here. These are all called the default round of load balancing algorithms. Round robin, weight based random and random affinity and weight based affinity and random affinity. So all these algorithms by default algorithm is round robin algorithm to do the load balancing. So in this way you can able to monitor the clustering service. Click on the monitoring and you can able to monitor the clustering services here. So two servers, what are you, I mean how many servers you added into the cluster, both are running. So in this way you can able to configure and you can able to monitor about the clustering, clustering services. Then after that, after completing this, so what we can able to see, let's we see if there are, uh, they will ask some questions here, at the end I will be able to talk about that. Uh, right, so we have completed that one. So let's we see how we can able to detect the failures in the cluster actually. So very, very important interview question this is, how you can detect the failures in the failures in cluster actually. So there are two ways. The cluster, web logic cluster is going to be detect the failures in following two ways. The first one through the use of IP sockets. Second one through the use of a web logic server heartbeat mechanism. And generally what will happen, the first method through the use of IP socket means, see, whenever you will start the server instance from this here, this is called one socket. Unexpectedly, if you close this one, automatically server is going to be closes and those services that service the server market has a failed and those services will not be used that is, that is one method the web logic cluster is going to be detects the server instances is going to be failure or running and second method web logic heartbeat so what is the heartbeat mechanism important entry question so generally server instances which use the unicast or multicast you know addressing 
for broadcasting the messages of uh, uh, for broadcasting the messages to the peer server instances every 10 seconds to other server instance in the cluster you know it it sends it as broadcasting the messages if three odd bits are missed from the peer server in the sense other server it does not return up to three intervals actually 10 10 seconds gap so that server is marked as failed and those services will not be used so that mechanism we can call it as a heartbeat mechanism the cluster is going to be broadcasting the message to the other peer server instances in the cluster every 10 seconds so continuously three times it has going to be missed and consecutively it has going to miss those three intervals and it does not respond in the sense that server marked as a failed and those services will not be used so that mechanism we can call it as heartbeat mechanism so that is about heartbeat mechanism by using these these two methods we can able to detect the failures in the cluster so once we will complete this one managing the cluster we have seen already how we can able to manage the session and allow the you know that part other important entry question so what is the session affinity session affinity means generally what will happen whenever the request come from the same client should always manage by the same web logic server instance only so where that client's request was processed earlier if that is busy if the server is busy if unable to process that server right so then only that request will be processed to the another server instance in the cluster node that mechanism we can call it as a session affinity very very important entry question so what is the session affinity session affinity means the request is coming from the same client right so it should always managed by the same web logic server instance which is earlier earlier this request was processed and if that server is busy or unable to process that request that request which is redirected to the another server instance or then only it will be processed by the another node in the cluster that is called that mechanism we can call it as server affinity in this way we can able to manage the cluster configuration monitoring and failures and all those we can able to manage here see uh, what is the proxy plugin i have questions i'm talking about and what is the match expression dot star generally match expression dot generally what it will do uh, this is the module it will be redirect all the incoming requests to the backend server what is yes for shared objects and what is proxy plugin we have seen all those internal questions they will ask under this proxy plug uh, pro uh, while you are setting up the load balancing or the defaults load balancing algorithms was there and what is the default load balancing algorithm all those understood right all the clustering concept hello so in this way we can able to set up the cluster and with the sense in this every interview you will able to get some questions from this cluster very very important uh, you know concept to you people and uh, I will forward both clustering videos regarding to you people and you can set up in your machine. And I already sent these HTTP or uh, that that file and as well as you know proxy plugins. You already downloaded, right? Mm -hmm. Through the Google Drive, I already sent to you people. Mm -hmm. Yes, then you can set up by tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, what we can able to see, we'll be able to see the important other important it's a web logic server administrator, very, very, you know frequent activity that is nothing but what you know deployment how you are going to be deploying the applications into the web logic server so that part we will able to see understood and make sure Vijay uh, be available at right time okay hello all right all hello? right all. Vijay yes sir so make sure available at right time tomorrow, okay? Uh, okay, okay. Okay, sometimes it will happen. Make sure, okay? By tomorrow okay, it will sir. be there. So it's an important yeah, concept, okay. uh, deployment onwards. So then we'll be we'll, we'll able to, uh, maybe end of this week, I'll forward the resumes to you people and you can prepare it, okay? Okay. All right? Yes. All right. We'll be tomorrow at same time, right? 6.30 PM IST. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. We'll meet tomorrow at the same time. But my plan is what you know, 6 30 to 8, 8 o'clock. I want to take like that. So that is the reason I'm telling to you. Okay. Okay, bye.